guys and welcome back to another video. Today I have two stationary boxes to open for you today. The first one here on top is the Your Creative Studio box and I will have their link in the description box below. And the second one here I actually received from a pen pal, Christian Lee. And if you've heard that, for, um, that name before, it's because we've exchanged letters for I think it's been over three years now. If you've been watching my PO Box opening videos for a while, you probably would recognize that name. So I've already had a sneak peek inside and I've already taken out a chocolate and eaten it. Um, but I thought I would start with the Your Creative Studio box, then jump into the other one. And then at the end of this video, I thought we could, um, well, I would do a journal with me. So then I would grab my journal and then I'll journal with all the products from these two boxes. So a huge thank you to Christian Lee for sending me this massive box. I'm so excited to show you, look how big it is. And then obviously your creative studio for sending me box monthly. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe because you will be updated when I post my weekly videos. I will be going on holidays next week though, and I will update you on the community tab if you're not already following me. Um, but let's get into this video and let's open up some stationary boxes. Belief in yourself. That's really cute. Does that mean it's gonna be a botanical box? I really hope so. Alrighty, so I'll take everything out of the packaging, but it looks very botanical. We've got these beautiful leaves, like actually it looks quite autumn-y to be honest with you. I could have put these in my autumn spreads. Alrighty, so we'll start with these pretty papers. They're all a bit see-through, so you can see my fingers underneath. It'd be so lovely for like pocket letters and things like that. And as I said, these all look like really autumn papers. I think this has to be my favourite box that has come in so far. I just love the autumn colours of this box. Alrighty, so we also got a bunch of stickers. So we've got these really delicate transparent stickers. So some more transparent stickers and these are pressed flowers. And as you can see they're really delicate as well. Now I don't know if you can see on camera, but these are all green leaves, where this one's quite colourful. Next we have the Your Creative Studio sticker sheet. Now in every box Your Creative Studio designs their own stickers. I was so excited that they've put these real flowers in here. Now this came in um, one of the Your Creative Studio boxes I think a month or two ago now and it had all pressed flowers and this one's pressed leaves and it's so gorgeous and I'll cut it open for you to see. So they're real and they're also loose so you can pull one off and pop one of those in your journal or however you'd like to use them. So next we have these paper packs and look, it's a Pride and Prejudice one. I just did a Pride and Prejudice snail mail um, like theme for my Patreons. So I wish I had this paper pack for that. Oh, I might have to do another one or I could send this to my Patreons who loved Pride and Prejudice and picked it as their th theme. I'll do that. It's so cute, it's like a little stamp set. It's the same the whole way through, but as you can see, it's got like the little fake stamp to do. It's, it's exactly of what's on the front cover here. So you could do like a little to and from. I love that so much. And then at the back, there's some stickers and they look like wax seals. That's really cool. I love that. It looks like different postal stamps around the world. <gasps> Look. Oh, 
that's really cool. I'm definitely gonna be using a lot of these in my mail art. I really love those designs. Gorgeous, thank you. So next we have this stamp set. And again, very autumnal. The little pumpkin and all the leaves. Can't wait to use this. We've also got this huge wooden stamp. I don't know why it's so wide. I don't think it needs to be that wide, but it looks very cute. I can't wait to use it. Little squirrel. And we've also got this box. Like diamonds. I don't know why it says that. Oh, okay. I think, I think they all have different quotes on them. Dream sound. Don't really get the quotes. <laughs> Ice and snow love. I'm probably just gonna cut the words off. <laughs> but these are really pretty. What are these? I think they're stickers. Yeah, they're stickers. Cool. I love the designs on here. Don't really like the words. <laughs> Although this one's sweet, this one says be happy, so I'll keep some of them. <laughs> All right, I really like those. And I like the box it comes in too, that's really sweet. So the last thing inside this box are these long strips of different um, images, I guess. I can see moons and plants. I don't know if they're stickers. I adore Door, this one right here because I've been doing lots of like space and moon themed art journaling so I can't wait to use this one it's gorgeous and I think they're stickers let me see yes they're stickers all right that's awesome all right I'll show you the rest this is really cool I love these oh <gasps> look at these gorgeous dragonfly and butterfly ones I am going to use all of these, <laughs> especially like this mushroom one. Oh, these are really cool. These are really, this is exactly my style. This is sick. <gasps> and they come both in like transparent and also like solid white or black. I love these. This box is so pretty. Thank you to your creative studio for sending me this box. I'm looking forward to creating an art journal with all of these goodies. Alrighty, so next to this beautiful big box from Kristen Lee. I don't know why I always say her last name. <laughs> Just flows off the tongue. All right, so I've already had a sneak peek of this one, but she's wrapped this absolutely beautifully. Oh my goodness, a little Totoro on the front. <laughs> so look, we've got all these little mini boxes inside. <gasps> They're so cute. What do you guys think they are? And then look at this one. Oh my goodness. Look at these beautiful flowers. I cannot believe they made it through customs. Alrighty, let's do this one first. Again, really gorgeous paper. I think this is a homemade envelope as well, I'm not sure. It looks like it. Oh my goodness. I love receiving stamp samples. Beautiful tea. <gasps> these are so cute. Look, it's another one of these ones. I can add it to a space themed um, like art journal spread. It's gorgeous. And I love this world one. I could put it in a traveling notebook. Honey. <laughs> and the paper that she stamped these on are just so delicate and beautiful. Little teacups. <gasps> I love that one. Look how pretty this one is. <laughs> big cacti 
Beautiful. Oh, how pretty. Thank you. All right. I'll put that aside. And I'm thinking I might even do like a Christmas one back. Maybe like a um, 24 days of Christmas. Would you like to see me do a reply back to this one? Let me know in the comments. And if you want me to see me do a Christmas reply. I've always wanted to create a 24 days of Christmas package. <gasps> it's all tiny stamps. I mean stickers, sorry. Oh, they're all falling. These are the tiniest stickers. I think this is the smallest sticker sheet I've ever received. And it came in a perfect time because I'm actually creating a little mini mail tutorial on my Patreon. So I can't wait to use these. I can dec decorate the envelopes with these tiny stickers. And look, these butterflies. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to just kind of pull them back in. So next we have another mini mail. All right, I'm gonna flip this over because that's actually a little note there. And I'm not gonna read that one out on camera. We've got a little Canadian pin. That's really sweet. And then another little mini envelope. Okay. Okay, there's pins, like actual pins. All right, I'm gonna have to read the note to understand what this is all about. So the little note has an explanation of what those are, but I won't read them on camera just in case she doesn't want me to. Um, so moving on, we've got another mini box and it's really adorable how she's like wrapped all these. How do I open this? <gasps> Oh my goodness, this is so sweet. It's like the cutest gift inside of this box. And we've got little stamps. Oh my goodness. I think this is a maid stamp, is it? That's so lovely. And then an actual stamping like ink. That is such a lovely idea. <gasps> I'm definitely gonna do it. Um, 24 days of Christmas back. This is so gorgeous. And I love all these like mini packages. It honestly feels like Christmas. <gasps> Guys. <laughs> this is what I think this is. Oh my goodness. It's even got a little window. I might have to get a light and shine it inside so you can see how incredible this is because I can't get it on camera. On the side here, there's a tea cup with even you can see a little tea bag, a laptop, some flowers at the back and then on this side, you can see the chair, the plant, and the mirror. Now, I don't know if you guys have watched, I actually made a little mini um, art studio and it was the size of a shoe box, but this just takes it to a whole new level. This is incredible. So this is an iPhone 10, and this is the size of the little, like, it's like a little, my art little art studio. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Should I move on? <laughs> I've been on this one for a while, but I'm just so impressed. So I've got my little light here so you can see all of the details towards the back. I could have stared at that mini studio all day, but let's move on. So what do we have next? They're so adorable, thank you. So next we have this really big package here. So let's open it up. So the first thing I see is this little letter. Oh, <laughs> this envelope's really cute, thank you. I'll open that one up later. And then we've got stickers and tags. <gasps> that washi tape is gorgeous. 
Oh my goodness, there's so much inside. All right, I'll go through all this in more detail later, because if not, this video is going to go off forever. This is incredible. Thank you so much. Oh, and we need the poo. Postcards, magazine cutouts with notes on them. These are all wrapped so nicely. <gasps> Totoro, it's like a kawaii version. Oh my goodness, these are all Ghibli Studio, I think. Oh, how lovely. That one's so pretty. Oh, that's really, really cute. They look like two little Japanese girls on a couch. Holy moly. This is so heavy. It looks like she's made a flip book. All right, let's move this to the side. Canada! <laughs> wow. <gasps> Oh, this is lovely. Oh my God, it's sewn together like a real book. This would have taken you so long. Thank you so much for sending me this. This is really kind of you. Oh, wow. I'll go through this in more detail after the video, definitely. Oh my goodness, it just keeps going. <laughs> So how do I open this? I think we go like that. Oh, I love that. <gasps> this is jam-packed. How cool is that? Oh, wow. These images, like I've never even seen some of the stationery before down the rabbit hole. This theme is just beautiful. And then we've got more on the back. Like even this clip, I'll show you a close up. Like all the little details. <gasps> and it's got all of this beautiful Alice in Wonderland stationery inside. I don't know what journal spread to do now because the Your Creative Studio box was full of Botanical things and this one's Alice in Wonderland. Oh, she's gifted me all the beautiful Alice in Wonderland stickers. Oh, that's so lovely of you. Maybe what I could do is do one art journal for this box and another art journal for the other one. Oh, I appreciate everything you've sent me. I'll show everything and lay it back out because there's just been so much thought put into this. And you gifted me so much stationery. Thank you. I'm going to reply back with a 24 days of Christmas so you can open something every day throughout Christmas. Or if it arrives a little bit later, then at least then you can have 24 gifts because this is just beautiful. And I can't wait to create it, like it's so much fun. And this just blew my mind. So thank you again for creating this.